Yeah, we'll just have to <coughs> something to talk to Matt about that tonight. It still feels like far away. But it's not. It's coming right up. Um, do you have an aid for this child? Yeah. Have you determined your gender? A girl. That's awesome. Yeah. There's a lot we need to do still. <laughs> you got a job. You got a job. You got a job. You got a job. I'm having a hard time getting on to Wi Fi for some reason. You're on yeah, I'm connected to Orem Wi Fi. I don't know the password though, they set that up for me. I think I'm not Orem guest, but usually it works. Sarah, how are you surviving? Surviving is the key. <laughs> I feel like I'm in some trouble now, too. Really? I, I, I was thinking, like, it's, there are probably very few people who are thriving these days. There might be. The name of the game is survival. It's, it's like we're starting to ramp up into real life um, on empty. Empty is also a word I use a lot at <laughs> my house. Yeah. I'm empty. I'll be right now. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> How was your 50th, by the way? Oh, yes. Yeah? yeah. Okay. So 50 is the new. That's what numbers are. Yeah, right, 50 is the new 30, new, right? 70, yeah. <laughs> you went the wrong direction. <laughs> um, yeah, I've actually had our 10 process. Really? Which is pretty good at. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, I'm in person. Yay! That, it makes me... After gallivanting everywhere, right? Happy. Well, I was at Orlando. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I was on a birthday trip. The paper said I was on business. I go, a oh, fun business for my birthday. <laughs> oh, darn, I missed the State Street Master Plan. Oh, my gosh. I, went, I went there that night. It was... There was a lot of you know, Tom and guess where yeah. Tom was? Orlando. Just Are like you serious? Me. Did you know that ahead of time? Or you he called me. He's like, "You're going to Orlando. I'm going to Orlando." I said, "What are you doing?" He's like, "Well, we have friends there and they plan stuff." And I said, "I said you're gonna laugh, but I have I have dinner reservations, which are hard to get at Disneyland, Epcot Center at eight o'clock, which is six o'clock our time." Oh. And I said, "There's no way I can." Wow. And I can't change them. And you know, I got them months ago. Okay. And Jeff was in Hawaii. Yeah, but I think Jeff was in them. He did, yeah. 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 And what would I have said? I mean, I already compromised with retreat. I fought for reputation. Honestly, you guys, I did. And you and I, I, I'm grateful for that. I'm like, mm -mm. the reason we didn't go back is that is a nice street. <laughs> My personal thing is we could have kept a couple housing areas and maybe one or two of the district. Kind of a compromise and maybe look at their height. We'll see what the state legislature does. They might. I was, oh, I that's talking. right. I they did might see force some things. Yeah. They might force if, transit. If, if a BRT yeah. comes down here, which some council and not me, don't think anyone bribes BRT. And I'm like, well, I do. My husband does. My kids do. I, if it were on State Street, I would. Yeah. I would, we'll see. I would. And then they, they would have to, you'd have to have transit oriented developments around the BRT station. Yeah, I did see that. We'll see. You would have to. Yeah. 
the state legislature. I thought the legislation said you know, they were incentivized. Oh, they were just saying that you would be required within five years you have to have it. It's a bill right now. Is it the last day tomorrow? tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so we'll see if it even mm -hmm. yeah, finishes. Uh, I missed planning this today. It looked like a short meeting. Was it just a few There was the hotel, hotel right? There was the Marriott Hotel. There was the Marriott Hotel. Did you see it? Uh, to change. Yeah, sure. just from one where, to two. Where, where is the Marriott? Um, do you know where the old bus transfer station was? It's right there. So, is it, is it a regular Marriott or what kind of Marriott? Courtyard. Well, that's convenient for Yeah, I will tell you if you look at our cell stack leakage in yeah. the hotels. And gas stations. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's two things that we're missing. <coughs> we'll capture a bunch of other things that more than our share, but it's okay. okay. Hi, Paul. Hello. Hi, you voice a reason. Um, it's good to see you. How did your day go? Oh, it's been very, very busy this week. Are you coming to us after class? Yeah, yeah, I just got out of class. How many classes are you teaching this semester? Um, so I have four classes and a lab this semester. So pretty busy, yeah. And the the lab is Thursday afternoons and just finished about a half hour ago. Do you have assistants that help you clean it up? And I don't know, what, what do you teach? I don't mean to be. Uh, it's, it's a parasitology lab. And no, I, I get to set it up and clean it up. So uh, there there are some. Parasites are like the. Yeah. Parasites. Oh, but you're getting the big bucks, though. So it's good. <laughs> right. I, I do actually get paid for it. So that's good. <laughs> I don't want any ringworm coming my way or anything else. No, no. We all uh, we all wash our hands pretty good after that class. My son works in the bacteria virology. Now. My daughter works in health. <laughs> See, all kinds of fun <laughs> stuff going on. Great opportunities for these kids. All right, um, Hillary, I did miss something from Hillary. Uh, she was gonna try to make a she might have to bring her son That's great. Okay. um she asked me she said how do we think it would go over if i brought my son i said i think our crew would roll with it just oh, fine. Yeah. yeah no problem so um i know she would, had emailed about social media posts for march right mm -hmm. did we get back to her so it's my understanding that she is coming okay yes um, uh, we were going to talk to her. okay is darren coming darren is not coming Darren unfortunately had an academic time, so he called me and said, please report on my stuff for me. So I can do that. Uh, given that we have a quorum, though, uh, are we prepared just to start? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, well, uh, who is doing our training on open public meetings? Me. And that's why nobody's coming. They don't want the training. <laughs> um, that is the first ever on our agenda. So, okay. Well, the purpose of this being on the agenda comes straight out of the Utah State Code. Presiding officer uh, shall ensure that members of the public body are provided with annual training and requirements to check. So, yeah, rather than. <laughs> no problem. And, uh, usually that's the case. <laughs> Some staff member remembers to do this. So, um, anyways, so I'll try to keep this brief, short, to the point. I won't cover every dot or tittle of the code. Lots of it doesn't apply, and some of it is more than was really helpful. Um, a public body. What is a public body? So any administrative, advisory, executive legislative body of the state or its political subdivisions. So you can't have. Um, that is created by 
constitution, statute, rule, ordinance, or resolution. This body is commanded by an ordinance. So, it consists of two more yeah. people, and it is supported in whole or part by tax revenue. Or, or and vested with authority to make decisions regarding the public's business. That's a little ambiguous. Uh, there's no final decision making here per se, but uh, you do make recommendations to the council and, and that is public system. Uh, to err on the side of cautious, we caution usually say so keep an advisory role as this, this applies. Um, especially since they're already referred to advisory bodies. We just explained that. Just to catch you up, under Open Meeting Act, we, we explained how they define that the NRIC is a public body. All right. And that the training that you're going to get is required. So, a few key points. Meetings are to be open to the public. That's the open door. Um, is this where open to stay? It should be, and at least till 5 30. And we do ask to stay open. Yeah. Sometimes. A uh, request has been made. Yes. Sometimes I'm not sure if it always doesn't stay open. Short of being going out and checking at 5 30. <laughs> um, meetings are open. In there's any time that the public body in which a quorum is present. So should you happen to just be talking, that is not a meeting. We are not a quorum. Three of you, that's potentially a meeting. Uh, not necessarily if it's a chance or social gathering or happy stance. Or, so if you just run into each other and even if you happen to chat about something that might be related, not a meeting. Do I recommend you get into formal business and really start deliberating and, uh, on a chance circumstance? No, I do not recommend it. My question is email. Are emails the business? They're open, yeah. They're open, yeah. they could be grandma, right? They, uh, they, they would fall under the uh, grandma statute, which is the Government Records Access Management Act. Um, I'm going to defer for a perfect answer on that one. Um, I would say generally, I would not consider an email chain of meetings. Yeah. But if you're trying to make decisions on an email, I think it's a little dicey, and I usually discourage it, especially if it's too uh, too weighty. I just had the same, but you know, I refer you to the uh, public and yeah, our email. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they're all grandma, grandma bowl. They're all public record because. No, they work. If they're using my UVU email address. Yep. Well, even your private email address can be considered a public record under the grandma statute if you're conducting it. Uh, under the business of the city. That doesn't mean that the city or the courts have full access to your email account, but anything that you send under city business might be discoverable yeah, under a request for records. So just short of going and reviewing that statute before I give yeah, that. So any final formal opinion on that, I prefer to further reading or to see in our legal department. What? Yeah. <laughs> always send emails you're proud of. If you're calling Debbie a big dumb, whatever this or <laughs> my my general advice is if you don't want to publish in the paper, then check out the phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um let's see. Okay. You're required to provide notices, which we do for you. Which is uh, at least twenty four hours before the agenda. We try and get them out several days, if not a week before. Um, that is our goal. But if something came up, final at least 24 hours, we could amend it, and that would be a legitimate notice of the topics being discussed. That agenda has to have the agenda, the date, the time, the place. We also need to publish an annual calendar. It goes on the public meeting notice website. Um, what's well, not very clear about is if you amend your calendar, do we need to republish that? I think I think we do just have a good habit. Okay. 
Um, where it talks about what a public body is. We have to publish that notice in the, um, to our state or to our website, to the state public notice website. This is something I'm going to follow the recorder and Rachel on as possibly a new state that or a local media correspondent. You know if we've been doing that? Jody does that. Jody does that. Our recorder does that. And you know, our city reporter publishes it everywhere it needs to be published. Where does it need to be published? State website, city website, um, local newspaper, and then they also put it in a couple of places around the building. Yeah, so, just as a point of information, I subscribe on the city mm -hmm. website to the agenda for the city council meetings and the communication. I don't think we are subscribing. Probably not on the city website, but if you go to the PMN public meeting notice.utah.gov, you can subscribe to any public body in the state. PMN? PMN.utah.gov. Hmm. Because I would also like to subscribe to the, the neighborhood commission. Yes, and so they are likely listed. Yeah. Uh, on that site, and there's a place that you could get email subscriptions. Thank you for that. All right, we need to make sure our agendas have reasonable specificity to notify the public as to what we're discussing. And um, that discussion is going to stick to the agenda. Um, we need to take minutes, which we do. And it just needs to record the substance of all matters proposed, discussed, or decided by the body. Uh, it doesn't maybe detail word for word, verbatim. Many cities got in the habit of doing that, but that's not required by the public statute. Um, we to keep a recording. We're also encouraged to um, distribute other the meeting by other electronic means, which we do. And um, there are rules about closed meetings, which none apply to this body. So none of the purposes, Maybe the legal or the character of one yeah, of you. None of the purposes <laughs> of uh, a closed meeting. We, we, we can't adjourn either way. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, none of the reasons allow for closed meetings would apply to this one. So unless you want to go over those, so I'll just skip that. I don't love those. It usually means someone's suing us. <laughs> yeah. uh, if we're assuming we can. Uh, well, you wouldn't be seeing us. Yeah, the Orange be, City would, would yeah, be seeing and be. ultimately the council would discuss that. Or so. um, discuss chance of social meetings. We're authorized to have electronic meetings now. It always be, wasn't always the case. And even then, it used to be a lot more restrictive. Now we have, especially post COVID, a lot looser flexibility. That's a standard accommodation. Yeah, um, without rereading this, there are some rules about anchor locations, and we saw that I think have at least one, one of you here. I think they were going to try to. I mean, that's what they made me do. Yeah. For, I had to be the anchor person for. Yeah. So. They might have the logic for that is because public might come. Yes, um, that plus. Um, but it used to be that I think you had a quorum in attendance. Even when we had the electronic meeting, really the electronic meeting was just for one or two members. Uh, but now everybody except for the anchor attended. Mm -hmm. And there are some exceptions to that, even if I remember correctly, uh, in case of pandemic and other situations. But that's essentially it for your training. Um, I did find this interesting. This chapter does not prohibit the removal of any person from a meeting if a person willfully disrupts the meeting. <laughs> to the extent that order the conduct is seriously compromised. So if we get the protesters in here. <laughs> Thank you. I learned yeah. some stuff there. Do you like a copy of this? I can run this. Uh, it's pretty dry. That's <laughs> that the main points. Does anyone have questions? That Paul fills the check box for the questions from you. Okay. Thank you. And we will do that every year. Um, how about we do that every March? Okay.
Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, the second item on our agenda today is an update on community sustainability awards. So Darren and I, um, and to some extent other um, have this conversation. Um, I did ask Darren um, to visit with one business that um, was nominated last year. Um, this is Clean Fuels. It's a car place down in the um, And he went and met and um, was very happy with um, nominating them uh, for the broader committee. Um, did, did everyone have a chance to see that? I did, yeah. Uh, any feedback for Darren? His rationale there? Is that the one that's on the corner of Fourth Street and Boulevard? Yeah, isn't that my guys? And we decided that we're going to get those awards out and when we present to the city council. So, um, did you need um, us to pay for the whole budget? Did they get a little budget for you? Uh, I don't know what our budget is this year. Is that been announced? Well. I think we could spend the majority of the budget on the awards, right? on the awards for last year because we're on a fiscal year budget of um, July, one July, year. July. So we're still mid budget. Uh, I will. So we would need to. We would need yeah, to. let me just circle around with Jason. Sometimes there's little pots of money that he's willing to dip into. If not, then we can circle back to Debbie. Yeah, and, okay. It's tricky because we're trying to like reach. Shift the calendar. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and I think. But you're going to need to record us soon. It takes several weeks. To oh, yeah. get things. Well, I don't know, like a McGee stamp trophy, yeah. but we would take two to three weeks. And I don't know what supply chains if it takes longer now. I don't know more. They used McGee's last time. Yeah. And I think that's nice. So I would tell you a month would be ideal if you think you know, we're going to get enough to get well, I'll check on the budget. That'd be good. Um, Debbie's time on it even more than that. Are you still accepting nominations? Yes. Okay. So I'll send that with Did my like seventy-five dollar each budget for that. Yeah. I promised you a link. Yeah. Something to make last year. Or we can just say it's on site. Oh yeah. The awards. Yeah. Um, you or me. Or let me just get you the link this year. I I pulled it up and, and we can use essentially use the one. Okay. Great. Um, and they're taking notes. Make sure they're not. So I made a little social media post yeah, about it. Yeah. yeah, that was nice. So I'll send that with my other thing. Um, when do you think we need to have the cutoff for nominations? Like March 20th? When are you presenting to us? Well, the, 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 well, the question here is um, if we need to vote on right. uh, making an award. Our next meeting is not until. Mm -hmm. 14 days. Now you're going to have to do it via email. We can do it As long as you make them not nasty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I propose that we accept nominations until March 15th. And if I can get you that link right now, we'll send it with nominations. Yep, okay. okay. I'll send it to Myra then with my other. So we're looking for one more. So we're, uh, we're looking to see. I, mean, I think we have the flexibility choose if we want to get another one. Uh, last year the logic was a, a smaller business a larger business and this is a smaller business. Uh, this year we also want to accept nominations for individuals. Mm -hmm. uh, individual. So what that means Matt is that if we make three or more trophies does that might be more money so is there any rationale why you would go just like one or two? We're in a position to select one right now. Um, and I think we want to, to try to nominate one of you. So a small, large, large company. Yeah. yeah. Like so two. So, two. so what, what scenario would you have for you? I'm sorry. One small business, small one large one business, business, and an individual. Yeah. Like a so, citizen? A citizen, a citizen. Yes. 
So if you um, if Sarah were on the committee, I'd nominate her. <laughs> People like her really crack us what they drink, right? Yeah, but but you know <laughs> a lot of people like you. Okay. I mean, not nobody was like you. But you're a dime a dozen, Sarah. That's what I like to hear. But but I suspect that the, the people that are out, that are like you are probably in your circle. So uh, I would be interested in any numbers. Ian and someone who's maybe converted their lawn into yeah, local state protocol now. Because another business might be even just like and I mentioned this to people from the last time I saw him. So, so I think he is the one that's been going on. Yeah. Oh, excellent. I was also thinking about my credit union, seeing like they did some of the same thing with their new building. Juice and Java is another small business that did a nice job on the state street. Yeah. So I think those are pretty good. Juice and Java and the which credit union? Um, the new Alpine. Oh, and also Intermountain. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Community mm -hmm. Hospital. They've mm -hmm. added some more there. Mm -hmm. And they have community gardens. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Have we ever honored them for their doing yeah. community yeah. gardens in there? Yeah. Maybe, maybe we should should spotlight them in the summer, maybe, like when everything is hot and dry. Like, mm -hmm. Look, if they did this already. How much longer are you saving? Like maybe they want to be. Yeah, I just think that the fact that part of their live well program, but that's part of to me. It's um, these gardens are big. They didn't have to pick up all that. Who is this? Intermountain um, Farm Community Hospital. Intermountain Healthcare or Community Hospital. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, they had the the community gardens, and they also donated um the trail. The trail for us. Yeah. I don't know. I. I yeah. think we haven't honored them for a big business. I think yeah. that's the last few years they've really done something. Yeah, so I think that's have. a good idea. And they changed a bunch to zero state. Yeah. Like just a couple of years. They have a lot of land with the plot. It's, it's, just, just, it's <laughs> tricky, but um, yeah, I did notice that. Because that, that's kind of in my neighborhood. Oh, do, do any of you know who would be a good contact for us? Well, um, I remember their, their, city, their administrator is, but I don't know who it is anymore. Yeah, I was going to say, is, is it the hot uh, I mean, or the live well gardens or Laura Sal uh, Salazar is there kind of outreach community uh, outreach oh right right so I mean she's she's she, she would know anyway right yeah she would know who to tell yeah I would be happy to reach out I still think it's it, it's worth seeing if, if anybody gives me nominations for me yeah, I think we'll, sure. I'm pretty sure we'll get nominations for it. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't. If you can get Laura, someone has a different decision. So, what I will do uh, is uh, send out an email uh, with our nomination list, asking for feedback, and then uh, uh, we will take a vote in time to give us, in, in time so, so that we know who are awarding the name. Is that right? Okay. Um, that sounds good to me. Speaking of, of that, uh, well, we'll come to the we'll come to the presidential council. Okay, up to on Utah Lake Authority. <clears throat> so I think a number of us have information there. It's changed quite a bit since since we had our last conversation. Uh, Debbie, do you want to start? Or were you involved in the yeah. discussion on that? So Steve Roll was our contact point for um, Forum City, he's some of the, our land use lawyers. But I worked with um, Mayor Fulmer and Mayor um, Lumber. Um, Mayor Fulmer is Vineyard Mayor in the Limited City. And we really, really worked to get Utah County representative on the, the board because we didn't feel like it was appropriate to have people in Salt Lake making decisions for other. And, mm -hmm. and I think we, we won that battle. The other thing we were a little concerned about was the toilet tax. It yeah. was the $2, um, up to $2 thing. And I think that's not part of the bill, at least that's what I was told, that that taxing component is not going to be part of it. But the legislature is going to be putting some large amounts of large money into the, the lake. So there will be a budget 
Um, I have not actually read the bill and I haven't talked to Steve, but this is the latest that I just talked to Jamie just a few minutes ago. So we won the battle of representation on the area, okay, which I think for me is very important. Do you have more to add? Um, just my part of my conversation with Darren. So two things that happened just this last week in the state legislature. One was a significant number of amendments to the Utah Court Bill, which make it um, harder um, for the public authority to dispose of the uh, which I think is a good thing from our perspective. Was that prevent the, was that the strategy the dredging and the 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 island, that that help? Doesn't, so, so the obstacles to dredging and building islands are higher. They are not impossible. Okay. Uh, there are actually two bills. So the Utah Lake Authority bill, which has been amended. Matt, do you really want this? You might be more educated on this than I am. No, I'm not, like amendments I'm not, I'm not amendments today, And then there's the second, a second bill, which is a bill that came, that's kind of like Ben Abbott bill. Um, that um, puts a number of obstacles up uh, for breaking islands. Just kind of Are you familiar with that one? Yeah, I mean, a, a little bit, but it, instead of um, the decision being made by the state lands, whatever entity, it would have to go to the legislature to do something. Okay. So we, we Is that the one that Kurt Bramble carried in the Senate side? You know? I think so, yeah. Kevin Stratton was. Yeah, because he was talking to me at the gala. Yeah, the Sarah Gala. I'm like, I don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, okay. He um, sponsored it in the Senate. Yeah. Okay. So I think the, the short answer from our perspective, given the recommendation we made, is that the current legislation that is coming through the, the state uh, means that there are multiple checkpoints that make it easier um, for. Uh, for developers to be challenged. So I think given that the end of the, the session is tomorrow, uh, that's all we can do here. Uh, do you have any, any other information on this one? I don't. I got a door hanger in my neighborhood about don't sign the referendum. Do you know what, what this is about? About the lake? Yeah. Don't sign the referendum. Was it talking about Clay Thorn? Yes. I got that one too. Do you know any people are calling me? I'm like, oh, I know there's two bills with the legislature. Stay tuned. I, I'm that, sorry. That's about a, de a proposed development in Vineyard okay. that's down next to the lake. So, so what's, the, what's the issue with it? Do you know? Um, like the yeah, it's just the subdivision. They're, they're proposing to go from low density to they didn't say high. higher, but it's 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 comparable to like R7, R8. In oh. Front. R seven is not very high density. No, but no. people people's perception of high density is greatly varies depending on their own current circumstances. Yeah. Not totally sure. That's okay. Okay, so that's not a utility. That's not a utility. So I can actually think what happened is they if it's a referendum, I think the council passed the zoning and that they're trying to do yeah, it didn't sound like a deep. I mean, if it's just a regular a moderate, even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul, I know you've been, been following, following Utah Lake stuff closely. Do you have anything <laughs> you want to add to this discussion? Uh, no, I think you've about summarized what I've heard as well. Um, that the the main take home from the one bill is that it's more difficult to uh, dredge and create islands and it has to go through the legislature now. Um, and the Utah Th Lake Authority has, that bill's been amended enough, it sounds like, that uh, there's going to be quite a bit more public input op opportunities, like our local representation. So that's all I'd really heard too. Did you have anything you wanted to add? No. Okay. Anyway, I think in general that that's good news um, for us uh, because it And is, I want you to know, even though I don't think we officially signed a resolution, we were really lobbying from behind the scenes. Lobbying. Um, the different mayors and the different 
different entities in which I can. I know Steve was talking and we you know, different people and he was bringing in network with different entities. So what I'm saying is we were kind of doing some behind the scenes stuff more so than an official thing. I don't know. It was kind of sometimes that's the most effective. Yeah. So just so you know it I brought it forward at a retreat, you know, it, you know, it was such a it was such a thing where we, you know, we need to look and see if they amend this or don't or do so it was just hard for us to really and it, it never kept updating on the on the legislative side, so it was always a former bill, so we never could really see what the current, so we had to keep going to um, try to get that. So I'm just saying, we did lobby behind the scenes. We did look at our partners. We looked at different, and I was working with the two mayors, and in contact with Steve for quite frequently. So just know that, just know we tried. And I think it was helpful, because we got the main things we were very concerned about. I think it's helpful. I, I really do think it's harder um, for bad decisions to be made if, if there's unified opposition to the Yeah. The most and Steve Earl really, he liked it and he really did do a lot of research and really did, you know, we had several conversations. Just thanks, Steve. You know, we're trying. Um, we should. We should. Thanks. Well, I'll, I'll do that. I'll get on that. Okay. Uh, we're now on, on agenda item four, which is our discussion of the presentation of the Senate Council. And that is now on my calendar, right? It's April 26th. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. So there are a couple of things I'd like to talk about on this one. Um, the first is that I will not be here. And so I would like. But, but I'm not terribly worried about that because we have someone here who will provide, provide an update to the city council. Um, so we, I would like to talk about who or what combination of, of folks want to, to be there to provide our annual update and to give out our awards. Um, I think Darren will be finished with his his Tuesday evening class by that day, so I think he won't be there. Um, but uh, I'd like to make assignments on that and then talk about a process by which we can develop that. So, who is available to be there? I guess that's the start. We normally have classes on Tuesday evening. Sure. What, what time is it? Six o'clock. You guys are usually at the very beginning, like it's one of the first things we do. Cool. Yeah, I think so. You put that on your calendar? It's on my calendar. Oh, already? Did you send me a, somebody did. It's on my calendar. I put it up. I don't know. <laughs> Might have been Rachel. Thanks. I sent out an email. Thank you. Yeah, I was. I appreciate it. Paul, do you know if you'll be able to be there? Sorry, I couldn't hear the date. What was the date? Tuesday, April 26th, 6 p.m. It's usually maybe a five to ten minute presentation, okay. and you know if you want to work in the awards, maybe more of the five, and then the awards. Yeah. Highlights. The highlights. Um, yeah, I believe I could. I believe I could that day. I think we we generally want as many committee members there as possible, and then of uh, those who can be there, we just need you to decide how to how to line up the presentation. Uh, in the past, Sarah has, has presented, Darren has presented, uh, and anyone else who's there can also come up to the desk and be part of that. Uh, so Sarah, that's up to you if you feel like it's available or not. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to check my, let's see if we're going to have spots. It's going to be near the end of the semester, but. I was going to say, it's probably finals week for you. Right? Well, I think finals week is. The first week in May. Anyway, I'll I'll double check it. Okay. Uh, would you be willing to put together some of the pages that that, that you put together before, just as a, a draft and circulate it? Uh, and then my email. Um, how, how about if if you put together what you want to put together, I will own the master after that. I'll add a few things and then ask. Uh, by email, any, anything else you want to add or update or edit, uh, and then we will uh, 
sign off on it. Uh, we also have one more one more meeting before that date. Uh, as a reminder, Rachel reminded us of this. Because of spring break, we are not meeting on the first day. So, and Rachel, uh, April fourteenth at five p.m. is our next meeting. So, if, if we could add this agenda item to that agenda, that'd be great. Which is finalize. We'll call it finalize presentation. And I will get that. Meeting. So, so what I will do, Sarah, if you can get those, that's me, is we will circulate in advance so that everyone has seen it and then we can finalize. So what we're really just looking for is some of the things you've done and maybe some new ideas. I think some of your social media campaign would be good to show us a couple of, I love doing with the leg, that one was one of my favorites, but something like that to kind of show your out your outreach. Great. Because we're really looking for that and some of your, you know, you work on a leg and you trying to think what else uh, orchards yeah the orchards yeah so things like that i think yeah orchards because we great. honestly are members of that right so give us a highlight yeah. show us some the of your business cool awards stuff, the business awards but it doesn't really have to be super elaborate should we like prepare something to hand out or email you can. Too, like, um probably just hand it out that night okay we usually get pretty big you know background stuff and yeah well actually i mean when you like what happens is you pass around and well, actually look at it while you're talking. Yeah. Where if you don't have this come out, you probably won't. But you might you might have cursory looked through it. But the problem with their looking at something while you're talking is not as Yeah, that's true. We can yeah, I can do well. it. We can do it when we're done. Do like, you like the more details? Well, it's coming up on our screen. Yeah. Yeah, it comes up on our screen. So if, 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 you do a, if you do a PowerPoint, we see it. Like we each have our own computer, oh, and it comes out on our screen because they'll cook into the main system, and, they, and then if it's you, be cool. yeah. But sometimes it's important to have. Do some of the paper to take away approval. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What I what I imagine is a student a booklet, right, or just maybe a copy of the slides. I imagine um, a double sided sheet. It says highlights from last year, priorities are highlighted. I love it. That's perfect. So give it to us an executive summary. Yes. Yeah. No force note that they're phone good. When do you want to circulate the uh, testing draft papers? Um, I will try to work on it next week. Next week is my spring break. I think the core is the skeleton of what you yeah, yeah. for. Size. But you, I think compared to many of us, you have a real good mind. You have actually good job. And Rachel's been doing a great job of, of uh, recording uh, things as well. Yeah, she can look at that. Yeah, I can just send you all the minutes. You know, what was our big trip up to? Um, Is that part of this year? No. Uh, up to the alarm? Yeah. No. The, um, oh, the uh, Sigla. Sigla, yeah. And then the yeah. water oh, conservation. Yeah. That was that was great. That was one of my favorite thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We should definitely talk about that. Take uh, some pictures. Someone took pictures. Who took pictures? Um, someone took pictures. Mm -hmm. took pictures. <laughs> yeah, just show us a couple. Of yeah, I think I still have some pictures too. Oh yeah. That was fun, and I think as Heritage Park rolls forward, I think that's something you might even want to just talk about. You know, where new water tanks can get built. And, you know, like that. So. When you send out that collection of all of our minutes from last year, um, did you do it with everybody? Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. We have a plan, um, and we will try to have a draft document. Uh, and then, I, I love this agenda item. I just think we should keep this agenda item on every agenda. That's the plan. Is uh, everybody goes around and talks about their assignments. Uh, the one thing that I was wondering about is Earth Day's coming up pretty fast. And I don't know if that is something you want to with. Sarah, do you want to start us off tonight? Sure. Uh, so um, I'm just going to refresh what, I, what I've done the past few years on the Earth Day Youth Art Contest. Um, I have, 
from social media and stuff that I can send your way. Yeah, you can make new. You can send me. Anyway, I can show you what, what yeah. I've got. Um, so that requires reaching out to the art teachers and all of the junior highs and high schools in our high school district and the charter schools. And, um, so that was to the or ones you visible? No, 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 no. Orem ones and the ones that are just outside of Orem that Orem students might go to. Okay. Um, um, and then hopefully we get some coming in and we'll get some student judges. I think we'll get student judges. Um, what, what help do you need? And you don't need a budget, right? Because you have numbers. The past couple of years, what we've done is um, awarded the winners a $50 gift card to whatever orange business of their choice. So that's another thing that we have to see if there's um, budget for that. If not, then we can, you know. Let's save these. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I'll do it. Yeah. Um, so I'll just charge it on my card. Anyway, turn it in. So. And it's been interesting the past two years that we've offered that both winners um, wanted to use it at Michael's to get some more art supplies. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay. no, I'm serious. If, if, if you don't have the budget, okay, yeah. I'll just use my credit card by turning those for the $50 is not that. Yeah, so it's been, it's been kind of, uh, I mean, this will be our sixth year doing it, actually. Oh, that's fun. So, um, so I, that's kind of funny to keep doing that. Um, the other things I was going to report on, uh, two other things. One, I met with um, a UVU professor. She's the Senate president, the faculty Senate president. Oh, that sounds <laughs> too much like me. It does sound like you. Uh, when Hillary was wearing a different hat, um, we met and um, she talked about having UVU host kind of like a workshop for all of the citizen committees in the county so through the utah county sustainability coalition um a kind of a workshop where for, uh, natural resources. yeah so provo has one um Orem has one and lehigh has one well and it would be for the citizen committees the employee green teams you welcome and uh, lehigh also has a business a sustainable business mm -hmm. committee um, so, and then invite other cities that don't yet have citizen committees and see, you know, try to show them how this could be in their communities. Yeah. So, um, maybe invite city council and we can talk about your yeah. experience. Yeah. Yeah. So, UVU wants to host the Utah County Sustainability Coalition. So, this will be kind of our first joint thing. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, when and how long and before July, before <laughs> the fiscal year ends. Okay. Probably May or June. Um, I think it would be like a morning, probably. Or an afternoon. Like a breakfast with uh, like an hour? I mean, are you thinking a couple hours? No, I was thinking a couple hours. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And we can like make it available on YouTube or whatever. Okay. Yeah, you're all everyone's invited to it. Huh? It's awesome. Right? It sounds exciting. Um, and I, I have, we have lots of contacts, but I also have a review company in Provo. I don't have a lot of people in this. I'm, I'm guilty of them. So, um, like the Vineyard Mayor, she's kind of interested in those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. So she can go. Yeah. Um, Just kind of a chance too. for it to like network and maybe you know, share ideas across. That's what you mean. I'm also very good friends with Shannon Ellsworth on Provo City okay. Council. Okay. We're going to lunch next week, so I can talk about it. Great. I think he here will be two foot a date. <coughs> That's yeah. true. I mean, yeah, okay. Uh, if, if we can get that date a couple of months out. I would tell you May because June okay. people start. Yeah, I agree. Start going yeah. on vacation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Summer fest. Yeah. What day of the week? I like Fridays myself because it's a good no brainer thing to do. Like a Friday morning? Yeah. But so that's me. I don't know. Are there a lot of classes on Fridays? Seems like a lot of people uh, like to. Uh, 
But, but, but Friday's people didn't have one more bus. Yeah. We say the sixth of May. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's graduation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> After that. After that's good. How about the, the 20th? Yeah. Okay. We have to let it Yeah, let's do that. What are we calling it? Sustainability or what's it called? Um, Sustainability yeah. Committee. We can make it a oh, different a different name. Yeah. Um, city sustainability um, network. So, uh, we can like seven, eight, you have like a breakfast. Yeah, like eight. And you said they're gonna pay for everything. Oh, that'd be better, yeah. right? <laughs> About nine. Okay. Eight. 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 I don't know. I, I eat early. Maybe some people don't. Split the difference. Eight thirty. Sure. <laughs> sure. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. And that will be just, um, after our May fifteenth. So if you want us to meet anything okay. or like facilitate the discussion, yeah. You can also mention that if you can't see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. Thanks. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a little bit out of turn, but while we're calendaring, uh, we had decided we wanted to get a tour of uh, orange water sources from the, yeah. in the spring. Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah. wondering okay. if we wanted to do that um, in advance of our uh, May 15th. So I, I, I'm a little bit hesitant to give up a couple meeting uh, for that, but I'm wondering if maybe we wanted to have a pre meeting, which was legal meal at 4 p.m. or something like that mm -hmm. on Thursday, May 5th, and get a tour of the, the, our water sources and then come back. And you can also call me a meeting up there too. You can have Could we do that? Yeah, yeah I've had meetings up there before. Where? In the mm -hmm. tanks behind Central, is it Central Utah? I don't know. It's whatever oh, the, the water have. tanks up. Yeah. Oh, here this. Are you thinking of that? Yeah. Where, there's well, a building space up there. He, he's going to take us around. We're going to go see some springs too. Not so how long. I can check. My impression when I talked to him was this was maybe a You have to come in with study. Uh, that's what the time was. Oh, yeah. But that's fine. Like, we don't want to do it while you're having a party. So we have well, again, we don't need to plan around meet. Um, Would that day work for you? I'm sorry. Thursday, May 5th. This is our regular meeting day. That's not graduation. What about you, Paul? Yeah, as long as it's not UVU graduation, I have to double check that. That's Friday. The Friday. Okay. So, so my what I imagine here is I, I'm a little hesitant to ask Neil to work from five to six thirty to take us around, but uh, right. but maybe if we could start an hour early. And then I could get his a sense of the tour and decide if we need to come back here to finish our meeting uh, at the end or if we could finish it as part of the tour. Are you interested in going this? Oh, yeah. I've done it, but. You've done it? That's super excited. Yeah. But it's always good to see what they've updated in the yeah. yeah. place. Yeah. And... Okay. Well, let's, let's aim for that. Why don't you say to him we have flexibility between four and if you want to honor what you, you know, your schedule, but you, does he maybe not mind going a little bit, not 435, but just tell him we have that window. Okay. Does anyone have Cinco de Mayo celebrations that day? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's true. But that's just not that it's in a pinata. <laughs> okay. I won't be Back to you. Oh, and then the last thing I was just going to report on is um, we had our first meeting kind of with the executive. Um, committee of the new Utah Valley Growth and Prosperity Task Force. 
Um, so that's going to be metrics. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. I'm completely too small for the britches I've been given. Um, but I mean, it will be the brains. Um, that will be interesting. The, um, the date has already been set for that summit for October 27th, I think. Um, at UVU, uh -huh. and it's going to be a lot larger this year. Um, UVU is contributing some funds to make sure that this is a really successful ongoing annual event. So, we've been told again. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's see. Is there, uh, did we lose him? Uh, Oh, yeah. And maybe introduce your guest. Yes, this is um, Elmer. What's your name? Yeah, I'm Elmer. He's four. Um, usually, my daughter babysits, so she's going to me. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah. cute. And I'll, Elmer, you're always welcome to me. <laughs> yeah, I texted there like, it was okay, but we're here. Of course. <laughs> always. Um, so, I sent for all the, I don't think you were on the email, I should send you. <laughs> the um, social media, and I just wondered your advice on the. There's a World Water Day in March, and I had like four options for that one. That was the only one that I was like. I like them all. I remember like, yeah, right, too. <laughs> That's not helpful. That's what I thought too. That's why I was sending it to you. And Quinn can maybe you have know, it up here. You also have a cycling one at the top? Is that also yeah. part of That's uh -huh. cute. Yeah. Yeah, there's a cycling one and then like a. Is this the spring equinox stretch? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say you have to do anything for a spring equinox. Excellent. So some of these look like they can just be generic, but this one just says a little sunshine. You can just do that anytime, is what you're saying? Yeah. I don't know. I, I thought it was going to be for the equinox, but we don't have to do that one. So the World Water Day, I thought, um, I thought it was helpful that you did some explanation because I, I honestly don't, but I would maybe jazz that one up with a little more color. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's just kind of a little more. But it's yeah, give me show me. I'm having a hard time working. Okay. So that works. It's fun. So the first one was a cute bicycle, which <laughs> I, I think, that one. and then there's a welcome spring, which I think you should definitely put that one out. There's a sunshine. Put that one up. And the world water, there was this one. I like quite like that one. And this one had a little more detail, but I would just jab it with a little more color. Yeah, and then there was this one under more water. The last one was my favorite, that one. Yeah, that one is uh, Yeah, some more explanation. Mm -hmm. Maybe just add another line on that one. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. They're yeah. really good. Mm -hmm. It's not me, it's Canva. It's... Yeah, but. <laughs> well, because, like, if you were to say World Water Day, I'd say, oh, okay. It's uh, thing about water, but I don't know. Really yeah, you yeah. know. So like for the cycling one, I was gonna like I send little captions to like, oh, where's your favorite like to ride bikes in Warren? Mm -hmm. And that kind of that kind of got a lot of conversation. Cute. Like, so what do you love about the lake? There's all those common things. Yeah. <laughs> so I would yeah. do all three of those, and then if you want to do that last one, just add another line of just education. That's that's cool. my opinion. Okay, thanks. I appreciate it. That's great. For some reason, when I, I the, the only one I saw you can in scroll, you can scroll here. was the bike one because um, you're in the bike. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. So Frank Young at UVU says the day is great. He's gonna reserve the room. Oh wow! Yeah. Nice. He said, what about lunch? And I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to start looking at breakfast. I think, they're, I think they're all good. Yeah, you, you really put some great work into those. Yeah, they're really fun. I shouldn't say I do it sometimes. <laughs> Because it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, fun it. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's fun. 
Yeah. Well, a good graphic well, design date. teaches your eyes. I think it's, it's a great time. Oh, it's May 20th for that, the sustainability networking. Yeah. For what it's worth, since we're talking about World Water Day, uh, I'm hosting uh, at BYU next Wednesday uh, a water equality expert. Yeah, he's, he's talking about oh, water nice. inequality. In a, Tell us more. I want to go. What's that? I want to go. Tell us more. You're in the day. Wednesday noon in the Kennedy Center. Brett Larson from Arizona State. He is a water law person. Cool. Um, and it will also be posted. You should come. Um, but it is. Uh, it will also be available online. Thank you. Is it a worldwide like, quality of water? Across nations, or I'll let me show you the poster for it. Uh, he he does do international work, um, but he uh, also did work on the, the Colorado River. So. Anyway, this is the title is "Just Add Water: Hydrating Human Rights in the Desert of the Oh wow! So it, it's the way that water uh, affects and um, is affected by it. Hmm. That's really interesting. It does. That's kind of like what I say from that history. Yes. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Um, if you're interested, I'm going to be going to lunch or dinner with him. Okay. So okay. Uh, anything else? Um, no, that's it. Very excited. Well, he has to go potty, so we need to go. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think we lost. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, our time is about up. We did a one brief update. Yeah, please. Several months ago, the Rain Barrels Collection Program oh, yeah, the yeah. Rivers Council mm -hmm. was discussed that the following up with that. Um, we have commitments just for some funding for that, and we're from preliminary agreement with them to participate in this. Really? Well, that'd be awesome. Yay! Okay. So, Do we know what the costs yet are? Um, I think it's twenty-eight dollars a barrel. Really? Okay. So. When does that open? Well, the cost for the citizens would pay fifty. Okay. Residents will pay 58, we subsidize 28. So, when is the right time to roll out? Well, we don't have any control. Of that. Okay. It'll all be rolled out with uh, their program. Okay. I'll put that on your own because we did talk about that at some point. I'll send you more details as they come clear. But, okay. Um, yeah, that was something. Yeah, I think at retail, these run about 140 each. Wow. They're Wholesale with a deal with the company that manufactures a little about eighty eight dollars or something, and then with the city subsidy, it brings them down to the high fifties for consumer. That's good. Um, the administration's got five thousand dollars, so that actually provides a gap with hundred and fifty barrels or something. Awesome. Quite a few. Cool. Uh, one one detail we need to figure out is just the pickup location. They've never actually done a pickup on the other before, and so that's a little bit of a sticking point. So I'm just going to public works. I was going to say public works. Well, that's not the issue. Oh. Is they they host the event. Oh. Um, okay. Okay. So they so we're still working through. Okay. We've, we've offered actually the city center here to do it, but I have to hear back from what we decided to do. The only other city close to participating is Her Heroin. And they did ask for a contract and location. So maybe here, maybe in Lehigh. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Awesome. I wonder if, you know, if I got my ring barrel in June and I did read it or something. Well, the distribution, I think, was in April. Mm -hmm. I'll have to go back to my so. Um, one other thing, if you want, just one thing, um, actually, none of you have to be here for an electronic meeting, just clarification. They've got that rule. And 
and then there was another thing I was gonna verify. Although I assume we've got the email, nothing in this chapter construed their strict you can transmit the electronic message to other members of the public body. Members plural of the public body of county public body is not convenient. So an email. Again, just the bias trying to make decisions on the email. Well, we could probably vote for awards. I would recommend that we convene a special electronic meeting. Just do it. Okay. Just do it. Uh, and it could be during the middle of the day or something, but if you ever can Did you get anything? I, no, I just, I'm thrilled that we, you know, you guys really brought the Utah Lake. I, I mean, I didn't, I mean, I want the lake to be perfect. The fact that you brought it, I spent more time on it than I normally would, and I appreciate that because it's a very important thing, and, and had you guys not raised that to my, Consciousness, I probably would not have been as involved. And so I appreciate that. Appreciate your work. Um, you know, if if this um, mass transit, the, the new housing bill has a component they were talking about. If the BRT station, we'd have to have a transportation housing plan around it. So stay tuned. That, depending on what UTA does, and if they do put it down on, that could bring back. Um, more discussion on state street. So, to me, um, state street discussion, to me, it was on beautification. It became hijacked to high density, and I, to me, that was just a tool that's on the developer. So, it, I do appreciate that that whole argument that we had worked on for five to six years, or got lost in the message. But once again, it was a election, um, you know. People were really strong when we're there. I've been getting emails lately saying we need some housing. We need. I mean, it's been funny how pushing back. pushing back a little bit. And so, to me, um, I think that's a document that probably will over the next five years have some more thinking to it. So, I think they need some more, so. yeah, I think so too. But once again, my goal was to at least do the keep the duplication component, which I thought was very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really in that least street, you can put me in that stay street, yeah. So, but appreciate all your work. Appreciate the, like I said, the education members on the lake. And I knew a little bit about what far away because I lived out there. And, and it, but appreciate you bringing that to my attention. And, and, so, you guys do great work. Anything, Rachel? Do mm -hmm. uh, you anticipate being with us this week? No. I, um, my due date is April 13th. Um, I got something today that I'll probably be a couple weeks early. Really? So I probably won't be here for a few months. But I will be back. We will miss you. Exciting. We will really miss you. Yeah. Four year old man. A girl. A girl. A girl. Yeah. Well, that means that we need to uh, decide who's going to take the Yeah, we'll, we'll, that we'll talk yeah. about it. Uh, the last item on, on our agenda then is uh, the minutes. The only thing that I noticed about the minutes was Hillary's last name has an R oh. on her board. My bad. No, that's, that's true in all three places. Okay. See you, Elmer. I will fix that. <laughs> Thanks, Elmer. we don't come back. Thanks. Right. Thanks for all your hard work. I'll fix that. Thank you. Um, I'm looking at you. Hillary? She, she left the door. So I think, I think she, she, yeah. she, she, voted with her feet. <laughs> she voted with her feet. All right. So thank you Thanks very much. We are adjourned. Okay. Appreciate you guys. Have a great evening. Good luck with the baby. Thank you. Is this your first or do you have? My first. Enjoy the journey. Yeah, it'll be a change for sure. So my sweetest memories are rocking my baby. Yeah. And now he's 36, <laughs> 35. Oh, I, I have 29 a, and 26 is what.